You're welcome. Let's uh, use our time wisely. I've just built a new Arch Linux uh, D version and I'm testing it out. And um, I want this video to be a little bit different in the sense that Arch Linux D is a base Linux version, Arch Linux slash Arch Linux version. And you end up in a bare minimum, but nobody tells you that you need to use our scripts. You can use Arch Linux D just as is and then you can follow these links here and these links go all the same to all the same address and that's going to the arch wiki for instance i was thinking of trying out uh, mate so this is a desktop one of the many desktops you can choose and a few of them have died already but uh, we'll we'll clean them up but uh, mate is is one of the possibilities and um, all you need to do is navigate to this, this arch wiki and install it. So let's do just that. Um, let's super F7. VirtualBox is ready. Arch Linux D has been installed. This is the latest, latest version, 19.013 of Thursday the 3rd. So what I do is I clone. So this is a complete installation. I have it already installed. There are enough videos about it. So I'm gonna clone it and say, this is going to be Mate. So this takes a bit because it's a minimal uh, installation, but it is an installation nevertheless. Let's have a quick look. Eric, virtual boxes, properties. So it does, it is 6.4 gigabytes, just a base Arch Linux installation without any software and without any desktop. Okay. So that's that. And then we have this 6.4 gig. Copy, paste it, right? Cloned, is it? Is it called here? Clone, by the way, help. Uh, this is 6.0. And remember the tip I gave you that you need to set it to. Let's include this in this video as well. Display VBox VGA. Put it on. So we double click on this thing. It opens up on, luckily, on my second screen. The ISO is still in there. So basically, bad practice. Get rid of the ISO. So immediately when you boot up, you get into the grub. And then boot. Then you start learning, right? So log in. You get this nice screen. Uh, NeoFetch from, um, well, data from NeoFetch. And you see VirtualBox Graphics Adapter, VGA, right? Only 93 megabytes memory, of course, nothing is available, there is nothing. <laughs> uh, so minimal. <laughs> but um, let's go ahead. So I have this still open. This is what I want, we want to do. It says the Mate group and the Mate Extra group, we need to install those. Okay, fine. And now we go ahead. First things first, when you boot, you maybe check if you have the fastest mirrors around. So there you have um, four mirrors these days, right? Mirror, mirror A, mirror D, mirror S. The one that works best for you is the one you use, right? Simple as that. Let's try this one. Mirrors. Done. Then you update. You see at the speed. So the number in the the first column, second column, third column, the higher the numbers there, I see multi-lip 17, no, yeah, 70.1 megabits, I think, per second. So that's that's good. It's a big number. I keep um, here. This is a good mirror, whatever it is. And then that's the update from the Arch Linux and the Arco Linux. If you do update, if you then do this one, then only the AOR stuff will come in. So we're up to date. That's basically what just happened. And then we go ahead, sudo pacman minus s, mate, and I was another one, I think mate extra that was called. And then we have a desktop. It's incredible, right? Two words and you have a complete desktop. 
And then you need some understanding of Arc Linux, two options. You keep away from Arc Linux, that's a good option. I mean by that, that we have a lot of scripts and configs and so on, and you say, I'll figure it out myself, which is superb, which is uh, um, a good way to learn. And maybe we should do this in this video because there are two options now. I need to have LightDM or I'm going to take the LightDM from uh, Arco Linux or another idea. So three options. The LightDM, standard one. It's a black one. It's not nice. No wallpaper, nothing. We have the Arco Linux one, which has a wallpaper. And we have another, have another video about a special kind of LightDM. Why not do that one? So, Mate is installed, but we need to boot up into it. We need to have somebody who can log us in and give us a display afterwards. So we're going to install a display manager. Minus S, LightDM is such a display manager. If you type it right, you can uh, keep it typing like this, and then you see the rest you can have. So GTK is the one you need as well. And getting, have I been typing it correctly? I suppose not. So light DM and then GTK greeter, and then why not the settings as well? So you can set it in a graphical environment to change the wallpaper and stuff and font and icons. Those three, let's start with that. Let's start with that. Educational wise, that's best. And then sudo, I'm oh, sorry. And so then we have to enable it. They tell them, hey, next time I don't want to see this black screen again. I want to have some display. I want to go graphical. Then you need to tell them, okay, sudo system ctl enable me, please. Lightm dots service. And I have to type it all. Ah, whatever. I hope it's written correctly. Light the end service. We'll see, and otherwise, we'll learn from it. Sudo reboot. Mate is almost installed, I hope. Yay! We got our graphical environment, so this is what I mean. It's, it's a not, not a nice one. This is the standard one. And this is your Mate. And this can be the end. I mean, now you can do whatever you want. You don't need to go to Arch Linux. You don't need to install scripts. You can just work along on this basis and then just keep on experimenting and keep on installing. Maybe it's a good thing to see, guys, what you get already. If you're not ready to install it but want to see it, then you see now what's on here. That's not much, but enough. To get you started. Okay, render is now on every ISO and will be there. If you ever are in problems with uh, screen resolutions, that's the guy. Of course, go first to the display managers of the desktop you're on. But when you work in uh, window tiling window managers. You often do not do not have any of those choices then we always have this one anywhere okay so it's the appearance that's of, often uh, interesting the background the fonts interfaces there are some backgrounds we can choose already change that at least so lots of things need to be installed uh, teams etc that's up to you i had this other idea Control t not programmed applications system tools mate or termite let's take mate's terminal so this is the look of mate you can start tweaking the mate look by profiles and then edit and then this a little bit bigger yeah a little bit bigger titles colors background transparent Can't I make it black instead of 
background black. Select. That's already better. Text color white. Select. And then play around with it. Okay. Scrolling. Don't like scrolling. Disabled. Unlimited, please. Close. Still one to go. And then I'm out of here. That's not the one. Where are you? Profiles, keyboard shortcuts. I'm missing the one that says no title bar. Show menu bar by default in new terminals. Don't want to see it. I'll do a right mouse click if I need it. Nicer. So, then um, the idea is that we install another greeter. We've done it in another video, and then it's also in this one. People seem to like it, so why not put it in another video? I am looking for something called Ether. That's it, 31. Install number 31, it's called Ether. Yes, 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 yay. I always install with yay, but guys, there's also Trizen as a world helper. I, I tend to forget it, but it's good that we have two because if one breaks down, we have the other one. It's always good to have a backup. That's why there are three browsers, always a backup available. And what does this do? Well, sudo reboot. And then that's the end of the video. Then it's made Mate better. So the same look will be on Arch Linux if you do phase five. You get the same kind of uh, vibes if you do it the Arch way. But we skip with our Arch Linux D, the skip the installation part, and it goes via a graphical. Uh, installer called Calamares. So you see me clicking on some elements, you can actually save it as well. And it says, hey, this is safe for a lot later, shut down, reboot, hibernate, sleep. Don't want to see all this. We have a choice. There's just one. But if you would have uh, installed i3, then you would have cho two choices here. Here at the bottom, I just discovered something else. Here's nothing. There's nothing. Okay, just checking. So here we have options. Can change the logo, you can change all these formats and elements, and um, it's up to you to decide what you like. Here you can quit it, and here you can enter your name. And off the video is at an end. Enjoy. <laughs>